When you're working with the Bernina 880 in the embroidery side, let's go into the settings and see what we can do to customize this machine for the way you embroider. So touch the little picture of the gears. This one's for all the sewing settings and this one is for all the embroidery settings. So let's go over some of the basics here. So number one, global tension for embroidery. So if you feel like you're always adjusting your tension a little looser, a little tighter, based on your threads, why not change it here? And it kind of re gives you that little, no matter when you turn the machine on, that it's always gonna be kind of to your liking. Now, if you do find yourself needing to do it actually in the settings menu, you might actually check with your local Bernina service person for um, an annual service. <laughs> Maybe things have gotten you Used and it just everything kind of needs to be reset but until you actually get that time where you can get in there you can actually do some of the adjusting here so just remember it's, it will change all the embroidery tension maybe a little tighter or a little looser so especially if you're seeing some bobbin thread coming up to the top what I would do is I would loosen that a touch or two and then instead of you doing it every time it's just gonna always be say 0.75 less than what it would have been I'm gonna touch that back because I I know I don't need to on this machine uh, just yet. Let's go back one step, touch the picture of the hoop. Uh, speed of the machine, that is definitely something I leave full speed, no problem there. If there's something you're not familiar with, touch the question mark and touch an area. So centering the embroidery motif, so you can actually have it be centered with that little plus or not. So just remember if you wanna turn things on, and sometimes you need to turn them on and go see how that affects for your type of embroidery, whether you like that setting on or off. A uh, calibration of the embroidery hoop, we actually just did that. So if you're interested in seeing how to calibrate your embroidery hoop, what you're doing is setting the machine so the hoop with the template is gonna come right down in the center. And I had to move it just a touch because this is a brand new machine, I needed to actually adjust it. If you're working with fabric that's a little bit thicker, what you can actually adjust is how thick that is. It pretty much moves the, the foot a little higher up each time. Four millimeters is your standard setting. So unless you're working on something really, really thick that you're embroidering on, like almost like a plush fur, you probably don't need to do too much in that area. In this one here, this is where when your thread cuts it, it will move the needle out and back. So it kind of drags that little tail away and that way it makes sure it comes up each time. Sometimes when stitches go from here to here in their very short distance, that's a not enough for the tail to actually be lifted out of the bobbin area where it's been cut. Um, but this section definitely does make that. But I believe you do have to actually turn that on. That is not a normal on when you get the machine. This one is actually for tying a knot. So <laughs> you think, well, of course it should tie a knot when I'm doing my stitching. And what you can do is actually turn that off. So for those of you doing like edge to edge quilting with your embroidery machine, you don't want a little knot every time it starts and stops. You want to be able to like like pull those threads up and then uh, kind of like how when you free motion quilt you pull your threads up to the top and then it just stitches and then you bury the thread so then there's no knot where you start and stop you can actually also turn the thread cutters off and on so depending on if you want it to cut between each color or what is the distance that you do want it to cut so if it does drag further um, distance it, it cuts or maybe it drags a smaller distance that it always cuts so there's a time and place for these adjustments that's why they're there but you again need to kind of experiment where you will want them on or off for your projects if you're taking some online courses or you're working with in a classroom with a specialty technique your instructor will help you realize that those will be things to actually turn on or off. This last one here is actually where you can turn your machine from millimeters to inches, which is okay, except everything really is in metric. But if you do really better within inches notated for like how big a design is, this is where you can change it. For me, I am a fan of millimeters, apparently because I embroider, and I have learned to embrace the metric system. So depending on who you are and what type of use you need, this settings menu is uh, all, all new when you're working with the embroidery side of the Bernina 880.